Jemco's tumble blender shapes are engineered to create a repeatable pattern in which the entire bulk material moves to form a homogeneous mixture. The blender moves at a precise speed so that the material will climb the wall and cascade over itself. There is no additional force from paddles, plows, or spiral ribbons other than gravity. This allows for a gentle repeatable pattern that not only maintains a superior blending design, but also preserves the product's physical characteristics. Now let's look at our competition. Plow mixers, ribbon mixers, paddle mixers, and tote blenders have dead spots, resulting in unprocessed materials and inconsistent batches. These mixers have multiple dead zones, allowing powder to hang up and not blend within the batch. They also do not provide any geometric uniformity. Let's take a look at tote blenders more closely. They can provide multiple axis blending and deliver a particular pattern, but lack micro-mixing or milling within the same machine. Plow mixers, ribbon mixers, and paddle mixers, which use ribbon blades or paddles to push material, are limited to moving the material within the confines of their active area. These mixers cannot create a uniform and accurate blend. The dead spots they leave behind defeat the concept of mixing, which spell high cost of processing, especially for expensive additives and potent products. These blenders cannot accommodate blends with 7% or less of any one ingredient. On the other hand, Gemco blenders not only eliminate the need for key blends, but also produce better distribution of active ingredients. Also, because these units are stationary, they have one stationary port at the bottom of the machine. This port has a long neck which isolates the material from any processing force during mixing. Many times, operators need to empty the discharge area and manually reintroduce it back into the top of the mixer. The second competitor design flaw lies in the positioning of the intensifier bars or fluidization zones. These intensifier bars should ideally be located in the mixing zone where every particle passes through. Many times, competitors have their intensifier bars in dead zones. When this happens, the material will not fluidize properly and active ingredients will not be incorporated into the batch. Gemco strategically places the intensifier bar in the mixing zone, so your batch is thoroughly blended. Third, as opposed to utilizing gravity, these machines use paddles to move material. As soon as the paddle passes through a part of the material bed, not only has the material been displaced a short distance, but now sits idle until the paddle comes around again. They get stuck in eddies and voids, making blending a costly task. The material needs to wait for the paddle to come back around before being moved only incrementally yet again. Gemco uses macro blending to move the entire bed of material at all times during the blend. Blend time in a plow or ribbon mixer extends drastically compared to the Gemco unit. Competitors try to speed up the paddles to create the illusion of a faster blend. In essence, the bed is still not being moved completely, producing erratic and ineffective results. In a Gemco tumble blender, our engineers designed a flawless blending system. Let's explore the features of our design in greater detail. The angle at which the material first begins to cascade is referred to as the angle of repose. In a typical blend, the angle of repose is approximated at around 33 degrees. The speed at which the blender turns is called the Froude number. It is half the speed of the centrifugal force. We use gravity and the movement of the particle itself to achieve a homogeneous mix. Let's examine how. Blending will not occur if the speed of the blender is too fast. The centrifugal force acting on the powder will literally force the material outward toward the vessel wall. Because it is held in place, the powder will not blend. The repeatable flow pattern responsible for creating the homogeneous mix will not occur. Conversely, blending will not occur if the speed of the blender is too slow. In this case, the material will simply slip down the wall and not move into the center of the blender. The optimal blending speed is achieved when the material cascades at its angle of repose into the mixing zone. Adjusting vessel rotation speed makes it versatile to handle materials of various properties, as not all materials behave equally. Moreover, each revolution causes the powder to move six times more than any competitive mixer. Gemco process engineers can analyze angle of repose and calculate scale-up and speed for all our customers. 
The precision-engineered vessel shape and a carefully calculated speed of rotation allow customers to macro blend in their tumble blender. This is Gemco's distinct advantage over the standard mixing equipment. Other mixing technologies such as plow, ribbon, or paddle mixers stir using forced mix. Only while that force is present and in that finite area will particles mix. Tumble blenders blend more thoroughly, easily, and in less time. Leading customers choose the Gemco blending system to provide repeatable and consistent results. Scaling and validation in a Gemco tumble blender is far superior to its competitors. Please visit us at okgemco.com and schedule a visit so you can meet our process engineers and learn more about our state-of-the-art equipment.